Hello everyone, Carl here with another Ubuntu server tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to download and set up uh, mcmyadmin. mcmyadmin is a control panel that is accessed through a web browser that controls the Minecraft server. Um, I've done a Minecraft server tutorial in the past, but only how to just download the base uh, server. Uh, nothing else, nothing fancy. This is a little more intuitive. It's going to be a longer tutorial. Uh, not too much longer. Uh, there's a few more steps involved and all that to play. Snaz, uh, of course. So, uh, before we begin, you're going to need... This is only going to work for 64-bit installation. The 32-bit installation is significantly different, and I'll cover that in a different video. So if you don't have a 64-bit version of Ubuntu server installed, this is not going to work. So, the first thing you want to do is log into your server. I'm doing this on a clean installation. Um, the image that I have, have already has some of the tools that we're going to be using prepackaged, but I'll go over how to install them uh, anyway. So, first thing I want to do is uh, update. So, sudo apt git update. Once the update is finished, you want to install Java because, well, Minecraft uses Java. So, sudo apt git install open jdk 7 jre. It's a larger download. 82, 83 megabytes. So, let's go ahead and start that. Next, we'll need to install screen. So sudo apt git install screen. My, insula my uh, version of Ubuntu already has it pre installed, but you'll need to install it. Uh, screen allows you to attach uh, services to uh, other terminal windows. Uh, if you were to open PuTTY and uh, launch uh, mcmyadmin and then close PuTTY, the uh, server would stop because the terminal closed. So the screen will allow us to attach it to a different screen, and that screen can always be open, whether or not you have PuTTY or another terminal software open. I'll cover how to use that when we get to that point. Next, what we'll need is uh, unzip, so sudo space apt dash git install unzip. My installation already has that installed, but you'll need it. Unzip will allow us to unzip zip files. It's a simple set. So, Let's go ahead and get down to the fun stuff. So what we want you to do is you need to change to it, um, the local directory. So cd uh, forward slash usr forward slash local. And we need to download uh, the etc files, the etc files. These are 64-bit uh, dependent. Uh, that's why we, we only do this on a 64-bit version. So sudo wget http colon slash slash mcmyadmin.com forward slash download with a capital D forward slash etc dot zip you can do a quick ls to verify that the file is in fact downloaded next we need to unzip the folder so sudo unzip etc dot zip you can do a quick ls to see that you now have a well, I guess we already had an etc folder, but it added more things to it. We can go ahead and uh, remove this zip file now, just because I don't like clutter, so sudo rm etc.zip. And now you can see that the file is gone. Next, we want to go ahead and just uh, go back to our user directory by typing slash cd. Then we want to make a new directory, so sudo mk. DIR, we're going to name it uh, M, oops, MC, I add in. We want to go into that directory, so CD, MC, I add in. And we want to download the actual um, <coughs> MC, my admin uh, service. So, sudo wget http colon slash slash mcmyadmin.com 
forward slash download with a capital T forward slash MCMA2 underscore G L I B C two six underscore two dot Z I P. Quick do a quick ls just to verify that the file is there. Yes, it is. Now, next thing you want to do is obviously you want to unzip it. So, sudo unzip uh, mcma underscore, oops, sorry, two underscore glibc26 underscore two dot zip. Do a quick ls, you'll see that the, there's now a file in there. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the file. So, sudo rm mcma2 underscore gli bc26 underscore 2 dot zip. Just to remove the clutter. Uh, next thing you want to do is we want to go ahead and run it. So, sudo. Period forward slash MC MA two underscore capital L I N U X underscore X eighty six underscore sixty four and we want to have a couple of parameters so we're going to do a negative set pass and I'm going to go ahead and set the password my password is just going to be password for the sake of convenience for this tutorial I recommend you pick something a little more secure. And the last argument is going to be negative C O N F I G O N L Y. Config only. And we're going to run it. It's going to ask if we want to do it in this directory. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. It's going to say, hey, I don't recommend you running me as administrator. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to do it, but I'm going to for the sake of the tutorial. Alright, it is finished configuring. So the next thing we want to do is we want to attach it to a screen so when I close Putty, it doesn't close. So to do this, you type in screen, negative capital S, and I'm going to go ahead and name it MC My Admin. Now the MC My Admin is just the name of the screen so you know what screen to reattach to later. Once you, once you uh, press enter, you'll see it goes to a new terminal. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and run our file. So, sudo dot forward slash mcma2 underscore linux underscore x86 underscore 64. Enter. So I say, hey, don't use me as an administrator mode, but it's going to go ahead and resume anyway in five seconds. Okay. Now that we have the you must complete the first uh, first startup wizard via the web interface, we'll go ahead and log into the web interface. In order to do this, we want to go ahead and open up the web browser and we want to go to our server IP address. I have a domain name, so I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, howto.heyimjimmy.com and the default port is 8080. The username is admin, and the password is the password that you set during the configuration. It's going to introduce you to the uh, welcome. I'm just going to press OK. And I'm going to go to the status window. And I'm going to go ahead and press Start Server. Now, the first time you start the server through the web interface, if the installation, the starting is, the start is going to fail. And it's because you have to accept the ULA, and uh, the, um, the um, web panel is kind enough to tell you that, hey, you must accept it to use it. I'm going to go ahead and press OK to accept, and I'm going to go ahead and launch the server again. Now, this one is, this launch is going to take it a minute while it renders the blocks. Alright, once the server is finished rendering, we can go ahead and detach 
from our um, new screen in our putty window. So to do that, you want to hold Control, press A and D. What it does is it detaches from the window, but it doesn't kill our server because the server is attached to the screen. And if you ever need to reattach to the screen, all you have to type in is screen, negative R, and then the name of the screen. I name mine MC by admin. And then I can just reattach to it. And just detach by, by pressing Control A D. So I no longer need putty. Let me go ahead and close it. And here is the server. Uh, everything is running. Uh, you got your control panel. It's very similar to a lot of hosting uh, hosting providers' control panels. I'm not going to go over this control panel with you, uh, but it tracks basic like stuff like CPU usage, RAM usage. You have consoles. You can run commands from. You got your users and your groups, your schedules, your backups, your file manager configuration, and about. Uh, the only thing I will say about this panel is that if you have the free version, you are limited to 10 slots. Uh, if you want anything more than 10 slots using this particular control panel, you'll have to purchase an upgrade, which I don't even know what it costs. So you'll need to look into that to determine if this is right for you. Uh, anyway, that's really all there is to it. This is a real simple way of getting your um, Minecraft server up and online, a very easy way to manage it. Uh, if this is going to be on your home network, you will have to do port forwarding. Um, if you want access, online access to your, um, to your control panel, you'll need to forward port 8080 TCP. And Minecraft runs defaultively on port 25565 TCP, so you'll need to port for that as well. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, show me by leaving me a like. Uh, if you want to see more uh, Ubuntu server tutorials in the future, uh, subscribe. If you have a suggestion for a future tutorial, leave it in the comment section, and I will I will read your comment, and I'll see what I can do to make it happen. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.